Okay, g'day all. Welcome to another Python video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about numerical uh, operators. Yeah, so we'll just take things nice and slow. It'll be a quick video, uh, but it's getting pretty late, 6.39. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, Python 3.6. Now, I wanted to record this with um, Visual Studio. You know, I like to set up an IDE, but uh, my computer crashed for the 15th time in three days. <laughs> so I haven't got Visual Studio set up for Python at the moment. Anyway, we'll be using the Python 3.6.1 interpreter. So the interpreter just evaluates expressions if we type them in, and it's a really good place to practice. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Uh, okay, so there's a couple of numerical data types in Python, mostly uh, the integer data type and floating point. Um, integers are whole numbers, and floating point can have fractional parts. So the way that you differentiate them is with a decimal point. So if you want an integer, you put no decimal point in, something like 8, uh, just evaluates to 8, um, that's an integer, whole number. And if you want the floating point version, you put 8.0. Yeah. And it's important because the operators treat these things differently depending on whether they're integers or floating point, uh, as we'll see in a minute. Uh, okay, so the operators, the operators. Um, they're all pretty simple. Uh, the first one is uh, is addition. So if you want to add numbers together, you just use plus, and uh, the interpreter will just evaluate that. Eight plus six equals fourteen. Good stuff. Uh, we could use floating point. So nine point five plus maybe zero point six gives us ten point one. Um, so you can add floating point and integer. Uh, subtraction is just the minus operator. So we can go like ninety minus seven. Uh, it's going to give us the integer 83. We could use floating points, so 89 point whatever uh, minus that point whatever. <laughs> um, there you go. That's the answer to whatever that expression is. Um, so you can subtract, you can add, um, you can also multiply. So if you want to multiply, you use the asterisk or the multiplication symbol. Uh, we could do something like 9 times 0. Uh, 9 times 7 uh, or floating point we could have 67.0 multiplied by uh, 0 0.45 oh there you go so this is interesting actually so I've just done a floating point multiplication here and it's it's put a 2 at the end of this number now the actual answer doesn't have a 2 there <laughs> um, the actual answer is 30.15 I'll bet even though I haven't actually done that calculation in my head. What, what is important to know is that floating point actually rounds. Um, it doesn't store values exactly unless they are made up of perfect powers of 2, um, which is almost never. So when you perform operations on floating point, particularly if you've got a lot of operations over and over again um, on particular variables or values, what you'll find is that rounding error starts to creep uh, up the number and up the number and up the number. You start to get incorrect answers. Um, it's also difficult to compare floating point numbers for equality, but they're really fast. They're really fast. So if we want to do like a, a, you know quite a large calculation, something like um, that multiplied by that, uh, floating point's going to compute that pretty quickly. If we were using integers, well, for a start, we couldn't uh, because we've got these fractional values here. But integers are sometimes uh, slower than floating point uh, if your answers are really large, like this. Anyway, floating point values round. So division is interesting. There's actually two versions in Python. So first of all, floating point division is just a single slash, just like that. So we could do something like 9.0 divided by 3.0. And it's going to give us 3.0 as the answer there. And not, notice that's floating point too. Um, even if you do 9 divided by 3, uh, Python is going to read those as floating point because we're using the floating point operator. This division just here with a single slash is floating point. Yeah, so it gave us a floating point result. Integer division is two slashes, and it's a little bit strange because it discards the remainder. So if we go 20 divided divided by 7, uh, what we mean by this double division just here is integer division. And that basically means discard the remainder. Uh, so 7 goes into 20 twice and the remainder is gone. Um, 
you can kind of get the remainder a little bit. If you use uh, floating point division, uh, the remainder is that bit just there. Yeah, but that, that actually goes on forever, that number there. It's this um, 8571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571